What's going on guys? Asa here with Ace Videos. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make your very own crawfish traps out of plastic bottles and a few zip ties. Then we're going to go down the river and I'm going to go underwater and show you that they really do work. Let's get started. So first off, you have to pick the right bottle. You cannot use a bottle with this handle in it. It does not work. I'll explain why in a second. But any type of bottle you have with a handle, no good. Second type of bottle that we have here, this is okay. But you want a bottle with a nice cone shape leading up to uh, the lid here. Um, and this one has kind of a small lid. So you might be able to get away with making a trap out of this one, but preferably you want one that, that comes up more like this one. This one is ideal because it comes up to the lid. There's lots of space here uh, between where it's straight and where it curves. I'll explain why that's important in a second. So we're gonna use this type of bottle for the trap. All right, so now that we have the right bottle here, the first thing you wanna do is remove this handle. Throw that away. Then you remove the cap. Don't need that either. So remove the lid, remove the handle, remove the sticker. Now, there's no science to this. All you have to do is right here where the, the bottle starts to come down, you want to go probably about half an inch below or so, and you just want to cut the bottle like so. I have a razor blade knife here. Um, if you don't have access to one, you might be able to get away with using a steak knife. That's all it is right there. So we have the lid off, and now all you have to do is turn the lid around and pop it in to the bottle like so. See where I'm going with this? You're, you're already like halfway done. This lays on the bottom. The crawfish crawl up in here, go through the hole, and into the trap. Now, even though this is stuck in there, uh, we still want to secure it uh, so that this part doesn't come right out, maybe with crawfish and stuff, uh, piling all in there, or just by using it. Um, even though it's, it's fastened in there pretty good. On this particular bottle, it pushed right in. Each bottle is going to be a little bit different depending on which one you use. But uh, we want to make sure nothing happens underwater there. So we're going to secure it with a couple of zip ties. And uh, you can also maybe use one of those really heavy duty staple guns and staple this together or something like that. This is all open to your own um, creativity if there's a faster way to do it. But I simply take my razor blade, make a hole through both pieces of plastic, stick a zip tie through there, Boom, now we're just gonna cut the zip tie extra off. Turn it around. We're gonna make another hole on the exact opposite side. Push the zip tie through the hole. Tighten down. That should hold it together. Now, on this particular one, for some reason, it's bulging on this side, so I'm actually gonna add one more zip tie to this side just to make sure while it's underwater no hole uh, you know there's no place where they can crawl out on the corner now you're almost done um, we have the main bulk of it done but you need a trap door on this because you need some way to put the bait in and to get the crawfish out all you have to do to make a trap door is we're gonna cut a simple little door just as if this was a piece of cardboard all right so you can see there we have the nice little trap door but we don't want the crawfish pushing that open at any time to um, get out. So we, we need to secure the trap door. All you do is take another zip tie. You just make a small hole right in the flap that you just cut. So make a small hole in the flap. You can also use a drill for making the holes. Uh, but I know some of you guys don't have access to a drill. So, um, razor blade will work fine. That's why I want to show this. But a drill will make uh, making these holes easier. So you see what I've done here? I've made the flap, and then I uh, you can put a zip tie 
through each hole. And that way, after we put the bait in, and after we've put the rocks in it to keep it on the bottom, we can just put the zip tie on and it can secure the trap door and keep the trap door from coming, um, uh, from coming open while it's on the bottom. Now, there's one more modification you can make to your trap if you want. It's not essential. Uh, I'm a snorkeler, so I like to swim down and place my traps just right in the sand or gravel um, so that the crawfish, um, it's really important to place them right, the crawfish can walk along and go right up into it. But you may not be a snorkeler or you live in a kind of a dangerous river. I know down south there are a lot of snakes and turtles and things that want to kill you. So you may not want to snorkel in the water, but you still want to put your crawfish trap out there. If you want, you can attach some strings uh, or some twine to the crawfish trap and just throw it out there um, and then you know tie the uh, tie the line off onto a tree or something like that um, one of the things that when you do that you may not get as many crawfish because if the bottle lands upright or let's say there are two rocks and it lands like this on the bottom um, and you know, there's no way for the crawfish to get up inside, or you may only have like one or two. So you you do you might catch fewer fish if you just throw it out there blind. Um, but if you want to do that, all you have to do is make another hole in the side, and then put the string through it and tie it on, and you will have um, a crawfish trap that you can swing over your head, throw it out in the river or pond or whatever, and catch crawfish that way. And that is all there is to it, guys. Plastic bottle couple of zip ties and a razor blade. Now, I know I have a lot of kids subscribed to my channel. Guys, if you are younger, you have to ask your parents permission before you take any kind of knife or razor blade. Um, if you're like 12 and under, you need to have your dad or your grandpa or a guardian help you with this project. Do not do it by yourself. Don't sneak out to the garage and think, oh, I'll just borrow dad's razor blade real quick. You have to ask permission, you have to have their help when doing this because these are very sharp. Um, and I mean, you could blind yourself, you could cut yourself. These are dangerous to use, especially when you're cutting plastic, so please don't see this video and then think, oh, I'm just going to go make my own crawfish trap real quick. Um, get your parents' permission before you start using knives and stuff, before you even start working on this. Alright, let's take this down to the river now and test it out. All right, here, so we're down here at the river. This is a great spot for crawfish. Been here crawfishing before. We're just gonna set this trap. All right, guys, so one thing I forgot to explain uh, is uh, we wanna punch some holes in your crawfish trap, so that way the scent from the bait and stuff that we're gonna put in here can flow out into the water. You don't need very many because there's already holes in it. I just like to punch just a couple of extra, and that will um, get uh, make sure the scent gets out into the water so the crawfish are drawn to the trap. And then for bait, what we got here is you can use anything. You can get catch a carp and you can use the guts or uh, pieces of the carp or any kind of fish like that and put it in the trap. Or if you want to go do the quick mode like I do, I don't want to take the time to catch a carp right now, you can use cat food. Cat food's great for uh, crawfishing and um, normally what people do is when they, they use uh, cat food for crawfish traps, you have big traps, so they will take the lid off just a little bit and let the scent of the cat food flow into the water. But in this case, I'm going to take the cat food out of the can and put it directly in the trap because we don't have much room in the trap and we want as many crawdads as possible to get inside the trap. So I'm going to take the flap that we made earlier and we're going to take and we're just going to dump the cat food. Grab it with our hands, chuck it in the trap. That's why we put that trap door in there. Put it all in, and that scent is gonna flow out and attract the crawfish. And then the final step before we put it down there, we have to get some rocks and throw it in there just to make sure that the, uh, th there's a little bit of current in this river behind me, and we don't want that crawfish trap going away in the current. So you wanna put, just a few rocks and like some gravel in the bottom. Not much though, because you want as many, much room as possible in these small traps uh, for crawfish to get in there. And we close the zip tie and it shuts the door. So our trap is ready to go. I actually already have a trap down there that I made and put down there last night. So I'll get to bring that back up uh, right away and you guys can see how it works.
All right, guys, the first trap was a success. I feel like the people in those cooking shows where they're like, they make a casserole or something, and right when they put it in the oven, they're like, oh, there's one already made. Let's take this out here. This first one, this one I was talking about, I just put the, the, uh, the cat food in there whole like this, but it kind of took up a lot of room. But it looks like we have, let's dump this out and check. So we have, So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight crawfish in the trap. Not too bad. So you put a couple of those traps out and uh, you'd have a nice mess of crawfish to eat. All right guys, it's been a couple hours. Now let's go down here and see if we have anything in our second trap. All right, guys, let's dump them out. Got quite a few in there. There were a bunch on their way in too. I think I if I would have waited an hour longer, there would have been a lot more in there because they were definitely on their way in, but I'm just gonna cut that zip tie and dump them out. All right, our trap door opens up like that. Let's count how many we got. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Crawfish in that one. Sweet. Guys, anybody can make these crawfish traps. All you need bottles, zip ties, and a cutting instrument. Uh, I hi highly recommend, oh, there's one still in there. I highly recommend that you guys go out and try this yourself. Anybody can do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please smash that subscribe button if you are new, and I will see you in the next one.